Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and today we just had to ride the bougie train for like one more minute. I placed an order with Sephora, okay? And I would have, like, okay, let me back up. I placed an order with Sephora, and I don't usually do like haul videos because I, I, I sometimes I feel like, and I know that this is never what's intended, but I feel like when I, like if I were to do one, I'd be like, oh, look at all the stuff I bought, eh, you know, and it's just, I don't know, I feel like I would rather just show you guys products one by one and like, you know, just give them their individual time, and I maybe that's just me, I don't know if it is, I know I'm weird, so like, let's just get that out of the way, but where was I going with that? Oh, so in this, everything that I bought from Sephora business, um, like half of the stuff arrived damaged. And like, this wasn't a small order, okay? Um, and, and like, I ordered two palettes and they both arrived damaged. I ordered uh, a ton of foundations and two of them arrived where the boxes were like, oh, wait, here's one. The boxes were like already open and like ripped up and like, it's just, it's not my thing. This one arrived in slightly better condition than the other one. But anyways, um, it was it was a hot minute. So <clears throat> I was going through these and I was like, well, I can either not use them because they're damaged and not have the, the video content because by the time I get the new ones reshipped, I'm not gonna have the content I need. You know, I, I, I upload every day, I have to have something. So we're just gonna like pray that nothing bad happened to this because you guys, we are testing out the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Longwear High Cover Foundation. Um, it, there's a ton of stuff about this. I'm gonna read it off the Sephora website. It has SPF 25, go team. Um, according to their website here, it is full coverage. It is good for sensitive, normal, dry combination and oily skin types, so like all of them. Um, it is a natural matte finish, SPF 25, like I said. Um, a full coverage liquid foundation that perfects with a velvet matte, lightweight, second skin finish. Um, melts into the skin, it blurs imperfections, and it's just freaking fabulous. Out of, I think it's like 400 and some, yeah, out of 495 reviews, it has like 4 point stars, like 4.1 stars. So we're going to give it a shot today um, and see how we like it. Originally, this was going to be the one I uploaded on my birthday, and I was like, mm, I might just want to do a get ready with me on my birthday because it's my birthday and I, and I can do what I want to. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. <clears throat> Yay. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, first thing I should probably do, okay, so it's, the day's like the first day that it's not going to be in the 90s, it's going to be like right around a high of 56, and I grabbed my fuzzy north face, and I was like, is it fuzzy north face season? I was really excited that it was fuzzy north face season, but like, Paige, it's probably not north face season inside the house, so we could probably take it off. I just don't want to because I love my fuzzy north face, and I wait all year to get to put it on, you know? Michigan life. All right, so, <clears throat> foundation, let's talk about this. I'm going to go in yet again with the Peter Thomas Roth uh, Skin to Die for Primer. This is like, just, I need to take these off. That This stuff, I don't even know what, how I lived before this. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do, we have our Heavenly Lux brush here. We're going to take out some pumps of this. I don't even know if this is my shade. I probably should have checked before I turned the camera on. You know, that's not too bad. That's actually, that's not, okay, I can live. So we're just gonna take and we're gonna kinda dab some of this on here and we're gonna dab. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's a color. <laughs> oh, man. That's not bad. I mean, the coverage isn't horrible. It is a little bit like streaky patchy with a brush. So I am gonna go in and probably go over it with the Beauty Blender. Um, I wanna take my Beauty Blender though before I do that and hit the other side and see which one we like better. Yeah, I definitely like the finish better with the Beauty Blender, but like you can definitely see a difference in coverage for sure. Um, I think that, I wouldn't say that this is found, or that this is foundation. <laughs> I wouldn't say that this is full coverage right off the start. Like you have, it's buildable to full, I would say. Um, and it's doing an okay job at building up. It does look a little thick. Um, I have to go in with more foundation. So this is my third pump. You don't get quite as much coverage though, so I'm gonna switch back to the brush and apply <clears throat> some of my little, you know, rough areas with a brush and just stipple over top of them. Because honey, if you got something to cover, you best be stippling. Okay, why are we so streaky? <laughs> What's going on in my life? Beauty Blender. Let's try to pat some of that out because that looks a hot mess. <laughs> the other day I was getting ready and <clears throat> from far away, like when I'm not up close to the mirror, like right here, I'm like, I look great. And then I get close and it's like, oh, <laughs> it's not so great. So 
I was I was far away and I leaned in for something like I was doing my brows and I got real close and I could see like all the stipple marks right here on the bridge of my nose. <laughs> oh my god, it looked so bad. And I was like, how did I not see that? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Blind. Okay, never mind. So far, I really like the finish of this. It's not like as much coverage as I thought it would be. <laughs> coverage. I just, I don't know. I thought, I guess I thought there'd be a lot more. What's funny is, uh, one time, it was a long time ago, well, I shouldn't say a long time ago, but a while ago, I, I heard Jeffree Star talk about this and, like, how he loves this foundation and, like, it's so full coverage and yet again, here I am, my snarky little ass, I'm like, honey, you don't have nothing to cover. What is full coverage? What do you have, like, a dot? Just, why? Why do you do this? To you, full coverage is, like, totally different than to someone that, like, I don't know, actually needs full coverage, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna stop trying to build this up. Um, it's not the most full coverage. Like, you can definitely see a lot of, like, red acne cuteness through it. Um, through it. So I'm not... I, okay, it's not full coverage, you guys. Not, like, full, full coverage. This is, like, a soft full, and I had to build it to this. Um, and that was brush and beauty blender and then doing them combined. Um, so now I need to actually, uh, buff the wood. Buff the wood. Buff, 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 buff the wood. Come on, you guys. Son-in-law? Anybody? Anybody. Polly Shore. Son-in-law. I know that he's gotten a lot of hate over the years, but honey. Oh, I love him. I love that and In the Army Now are two of my all-time favorite movies. And I know. Polly Shore. Everybody hates Polly Shore. <clears throat> I didn't have that experience. In our house, he was quite the guy. Shaped tape. I love you, shape tape. Oh, and by the way, guys, yeah, I'm going out with the shape tape. Okay, I'm going to set this one today with the Laura Mercier powder. I'm really hoping that this cakey look kind of goes away. I feel like over the areas where I tried to build the coverage, like right in here, it does look a little bit cakier than I would like. It looks like a little bit kind of sloughed off my nose a little bit. I'm not living for what it looks like right now, but again, Sweet Spot hasn't hit yet. Um, and there are very few foundations that look good on me prior to the Sweet Spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go finish up my face, and uh, in a flash, I'll be right back. So, yeah. All right, so now that everything's on the face, um, it, I'm a little bit less than happy or excited about the way that this covers. I think that it looks very nice, like, as far as evening out and looking like a natural skin kind of finish. I think it does look very beautiful. Um, but it definitely looks like you can still see a lot of the, you know, the issues that be on my face. So, I am going to go ahead. I will do my day. Oh, on the lips is the, I did Whirl Lip Liner and I think this is Hug Me. Yes, Hug Me by MAC. These are both MAC. Um, and then, you know, normal stuff. I use my blush palette, my Marc Jacobs Tantastic, um, all the normal stuff. Um, so, oh, and on the eyes. <laughs> oh, guys. I did the Subculture palette. I had to throw it back for like a minute. Um, and just because I was really, I was really feeling it. Like I was trying to, you know, use another product that I've been testing out and I was just like, no, I don't even want to use this anymore. And so I reached for this guy and I think it went pretty damn well. I mean, I'm a fan. I, I think that there are some shades in that palette that are hard to work with, but then like when you strike and you strike gold, it looks top notch. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead. I will go do the day. I will stop back in. We will do our close up. We will talk. We will discuss per usual and um hopefully this day goes well because it's my daddy's birthday so happy birthday daddy and i will see you guys at the end of the day so about this foundation check-in you guys this has been on my face for about 12 and a half hours holy bejesus now i have a couple thoughts on this it's <laughs> As per usual, I feel like I always say that, like, I have a couple thoughts. Like, you should be surprised that I have thoughts. Well, because as we all know, that's all I do all day is, like, come up with things to say for everyone. Now, my first thought on this foundation is that, is it my favorite wearing foundation? I'm going to get that right out of the way and say, no, it is not. It is very, like, crumb, I don't want to say crumbly, cakey, like, it has a really odd wear pattern, especially in the more oily areas of my face or the areas that move a lot like you know my mouth um the planes of my face looked okay there wasn't a ton of sloughing on as far like the acne areas but we definitely had i'd say like a 10 to 15 percent slough margin where we i get so technical but there was like a couple issue in a couple issue learn how to speak 
I did have some issue in those areas. Um, an area though that I was a big fan of is that from far away for wearing it for as long as I have today, it still looks really, really nice. And a lot of foundations, like, you know, if you're, again, if you're like a normal person far away kind of thing, even by now they would look kind of janky. And this doesn't look too bad. Um, we did get pretty oily on the nose. I didn't blot it all today though. So again, kind of impressive. Um, I did keep track of my face. I knew today was going to be a longer day. It was my dad's birthday, so we went out after work and yada yada. So I knew that there was going to be a lot of, you know, time, if you will, that this would need to cover. So I was kind of hesitant. Um, so as I kept checking it, like throughout the day to kind of see the wear pattern. And what I picked up is that honestly, this did go about five, I know, I would say about Spot, yeah, five to six hours. Um, looking really, really nice. I mean, it looked very porcelain esque, again, with some acne spots, like still showing through. But it did, my skin looked very smooth. It was very even and nice complexion. Um, the colors and everything held very nicely, blush and bronzer and all that. It stayed really nice. Um, but once we hit, like, you know, the seven hour, eight hour, and by the time it was the end of the day, oh, honey, it was, it was pretty much like this. Um, on the upside, it hasn't continued to look worse past like the seven eight hour mark it kind of just like hit a spot and it's pretty much stayed there ever since where it just starts to break up and look kind of funny so let me go ahead and let's uh let's kind of show you what we got here so right here you can definitely tell all the cake and all that right here all the breakage especially and there is my oily nose oh sweet lord of jesus the front egg on my nose Ooh. we have a little settling oh that's a hair <laughs> ignore the hair but we have a little settling up into these lines but we had quite a bit of settling in the mouth lines like look at that oh yeah that looks great but the cheeks they look okay you know the as far as the overall sheen to them but you can definitely see like the coverage aspect was less than desirable you know what i'm saying now i know i didn't mention this in the first part of the video and i don't have my phone but i believe this was like 64 bucks this is not cheap foundation by any stretch of the imagination um but it was um 1.01 fluid ounces which is again standard foundation is about one fluid ounce um and i do really enjoy the look of the bottle i think it's a very nice sleek i think for 64 bucks you could have given me more than a plastic cap but the frosted glass component here is absolutely stunning i love i live for frosted glass it's one of my favorite things um i do think that for um giorgio armani i think that it performed okay. I wouldn't say it was like a life-changing foundation. I think if it were me, I would want to combine this with something like, <laughs> one guess, like my Estee Lauder maximum, maximum Coverage or something that had more straight pigment. Even pigment drops to it would be fine, but something that would allow me to get more coverage so I didn't have to build up as much. Therefore, I don't think I would get as much breakage because I think overall it wore really well. I mean, I'm like impressed and even from far away, I think it looks really nice. Um, I think, you know, shadows and everything are irrelevant, but those still look pretty nice too, like let's be real. So I was I was pleasantly surprised with this whole with this whole setup today, you guys. Um, I don't think I have any more thoughts on this bad boy here. I'm pretty sure that's it for the night. I am going to settle in and calm the hell down and, you know, just kind of go about doing my thing, you know, because I think that that's what I should do because, like, tomorrow's my birthday and um, I'm ready to lay down. I got a headache. So <laughs> that's that's been my whole week, you guys. <laughs> Huh. There was going to be like a birthday week vlog. Remember that? Yeah, that's not going so well because every day I haven't felt good. Like migraine, stomach ache, life. So I'm going to go do my day. Remember that down below you will find that happy little Facebook thing where you will find Seeking Alexandria on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. And you should probably find me on all of those because who wouldn't want to, you know, add all this and be so social with me because I'm just such a social butterfly. That's not true. I'm actually incredibly antisocial. But that's neither here nor there. You definitely want to add me on those. That's where all the fun stuff happens. Um, and that's where we get to interact more than just once per video. And we don't even really interact. So you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know. Is this helpful to you? What do you think? Is there anything you want me to try? I'm always open to stuff like that. Um, I love trying new stuff, as you can probably tell. Otherwise, I wouldn't have this channel. So I'm going to stop talking because this is what happens when I don't stop talking. So I will talk to you guys all later. Have you been, oh, boom, hit them. Yeah. Okay. Hope you have a great day, night, weekend, whatever. And I shall talk to you all later. Bye. Giorgio Armani.